Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I am doing a reading for the second week of July for you guys. So I want to see how you guys are feeling this week. I want to see what advice would be good for you to receive. How is this month treating you, Cancer? <laughs> Please comment below and let me know how you're feeling through all of this powerful, powerful astrological stuff going on. Universe, what are the messages for our beautiful Cancerians? Second week of July. Guys, um, <laughs> sorry, totally like spaced out as I was setting the intention. Um, I want to invite you, if I haven't already, I might have already invited you, I'm not sure, I don't remember sometimes, um, to check out my Yoga with Katie channel. I just opened up a channel that's gonna slowly become a beautiful sacred space for yoga. I'm also a yoga teacher, in case you didn't know, in case I didn't ever tell you. And YouTube is becoming my favorite social media platform by the minute. So I'm gonna be sharing everything over there. You can check it out on the description box. There's the link. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy to have at the bottom of the deck for this particular week. So this is letting me know that you, Cancerian, beautiful soul, are probably very much in connection to your water. So you are in a very intuitive, calm, emotional, and spiritual space. You are, I feel like some of you guys are very focused on the artistic and creative side of this water energy. So maybe you're feeling very inclined to that seductive energy of art. So poetry and painting and any form of art that really music, anything that really makes you feel connected to the sensual um, experience of your body, that is that might be really present for you this second week of July in a very, very positive and chilled way. So maybe you get invited to something, maybe you um, go to an event, to a mu museum or something that just catches your attention, catches your artistic eye. Perhaps um, some of you, some of you guys could be dealing with um, another water sign. Perhaps there's someone important in your life at this point, who may be a Scorpio, maybe a Pisces, maybe a fellow Cancerian. Who knows? First card that we have here, Strength card. Beautiful. So this week you are tapped into a very gentle, soft, yet very powerful confidence i feel silence i feel like it's subtle i feel like you're going to be feeling very powerful but it's going to be a silent quiet energy that radiates from you let me see what the other cards are, are saying Ooh, we got the sun beautiful We've got the Nine of Cups, lovely energy as well. I love the shimmer of this card. Can you see it? It's beautiful. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this gives me an amazingly beautiful panorama of the week ahead for you guys. Well, it seems to be definitely an amazing week with the sun here. You have the clarity, you have the energy, you have everything that you need on your side to make things happen. But you're not going to be feeling too rushed to make things happen. You're not going to feel the need to push yourself as much because you can, you can understand how your strength is and doesn't need to be, if that makes sense. You are very grounded within your power already, Cancer. And others around you can see that. And you have the support, the love, the patience, the kindness from others around you if you choose to um, take advantage of that. And with the strength and the sun here, guys, you are in a very beautiful energy this week. Very beautiful energy of calm, self-control, quiet, confidence. And 
loud success. So everyone around you sees you and sees success. They see energy, they see vibrancy, they see light. And this is something that you don't have to ask or request or you know look for. It just it just is this week. Everyone can tell. With the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Cups, there is an important happening at home this second week of July. Something shifts, something changes. A new beginning in love, a new beginning within the family, a new beginning within the self-love that you have for yourself within the family unit or a friend unit or a tribe or something of that kind. Something happens, something shifts, and it is for the better. So maybe, maybe that eclipse that happened in your sign is starting to manifest its rewards and its beauty and all the beautiful blessings that are coming in through that gateway. Because I do see that the home space is definitely going to improve. And when I say home space, that could be, as I mentioned, people who live with their families or uh, an apartment filled with roommates. You know what I mean? That's kind of like a family. Or a group of friends that always do or want to do everything together. So within those group dynamics, there is going to be a shift and a very powerful one, I have to say, that is going to lighten up the energy and is going to allow everyone to see you for what you are to see your strength, to see your power, to see your light, but also to see your emotions, to see your vulnerabilities, to see your fears. And be very kind as far as those discoveries, I guess. Three of Cups and Eight of Swords. You're going to be presented with a couple of insecurities that you have about yourself. In regards to others so there's certain things certain aspects of yourself that you don't want others to see because you feel like if they see the whole you they're not gonna like it or they're gonna be intimidated or they're gonna be scared or they're gonna be just turned off there's aspects of you that you feel are not as um, acceptable to show to others the thing is, you are surrounded to, by people who actually care for you and you could actually get very far if you allow yourself to show yourself as you are. This could be a little bit challenging this week because you're going to find that there's a lot that you think is not okay with you, with yourself. And those things are not truths. Those are simply limiting beliefs that have stuck around a little bit too long. Maybe you feel like you can't be weak, you can't be unorganized, you can't be sad, you can't struggle with physical health or mental health or emotional health for that matter, because if you do, then you're not worthy or others won't see you as the sun here. There's going to be some fears like that popping up and they could be related to some of you guys for some of you guys to a third party situation that triggers a lot of insecurities within for others of you it could be through a night out celebration party gathering that something happens and you get triggered and all of these insecurities kind of come to light could be in regards to drinking, could be maybe at a bar or something like that with your friends. We got the Five of Swords and we have Judgment. Yes, I do feel like for some of you guys, there could be a fight, conflict, argument, kind of like a little bit of tension in the air, in the social environment that leads to a lot of things it leads to your awakening of your insecurities for them to be healed but it also awakens the judgment in others so imagine as though you're in a group and you're afraid of showing your true self and then you go through something that inspires you to show your complete self and you realize that five people are all 
you know, happy and excited about it, and they're very loving, and they accept you for who you are. But then through this conflict, one person reveals their judgment towards you, and they reveal that they do not accept you, and they reveal that they are not really as invested in your happiness and well-being as you would have thought. So it seems like there's some kind of conflict that reveals the identity of someone who maybe you thought was there for you, but not really. Now you're, you, now you're realizing that perhaps their, their judgments are more powerful than their love for you. That happens sometimes. And it, it seems like a blessing, but one that might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Although you have so much positive energy, Cancer, that I don't think you're going to even mind. You're going to be like, you know what? I would rather see this now than later. So, bye. <laughs> No stress, no trouble, no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to be pulling one additional message for you, Cancer, for this week from the Crystal Tarot to see what specific advice or mantra you can use this week. Got the Four of Pentacles. I trust I am always safe and protected. Yes. Okay, cool. So as you go through this process, obviously this is a general reading, so I don't know if every single cancer out there is gonna have an experience that fits, fits this description. But if you do, you know, if, if it really resonates with you, if you feel like this applies for you, remember that as you show yourself for who you are, you are protected. As you shine, as you live, and as you are yourself, if other people get, tri get triggered by that, Know that simply they're revealing their true nature and allowing you to see them in a different light for you to, you know, s decide if you want their energy in your space or not based on the whole picture, I guess. Um, but you are always safe. You are always protected. And you are meant to be who you are. All of you. You can check out from the Daily Pisces videos. There's a video called Gelato Goddess. I think it's like the the tag is like, believe me, you want to try all the flavors or something like that. I highly recommend you check out that message if this resonates. So yeah, you guys, I'm sending all my love and I hope that you have a wonderful second week of July. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join me. And if you aren't subscribed to the Yoga with Katie channel, I invite you to check that out as well. Sending all my love. Bye, guys.